Halloween. <sighs> I'm hoping that this broadcast gets out to some survivors out there. I don't, I don't know for sure. Um, but you know what? Like, I have been noticing, I have an oscilloscope hooked up here on the side. And I've been picking up static, like static waves. And sometimes, maybe it's in my mind, but I feel like I, I can read into those waves. And, uh, you know, feel a question or feel a, a thought come through. Might be just my imagination, but I'm still going to answer the questions. Like, I'm pretty lonely out here. I haven't seen a human face in maybe, well, several years. And uh, that's why jack-o'-lanterns, they really appeal to me because even though it's like a spooky face, it's still a welcome sight to me. Um, and yeah, these are, I'm kind of glad I saved them. Like I'm kind of glad I didn't run into any people because these are going to be really good for the winter months. First, it'll probably last three, three months into winter and that's a very important time to stay alive. Uh, they're full of vitamin C. That's going to keep me, keep me robust. It's been hard. That's all I'm going to say. It's, it's been really hard. Um, Plus, uh, when I woke up this morning, like when I was like harvesting these guys, there was like a whole, a thick layer of radioactive waste, like particles, just like clustered on top of these guys. It was, um, it's a danger, but I, I'm always prepared, of course. And uh, if you have that problem, if, if anybody can hear this, uh, just use like a soapy cloth. Hello. And oh, we have a special guest for the show. I didn't. I didn't know. Like I looked. Holy smokes! Preparedness is key if we are to succeed in anything in life. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Holmes. I'm a big fan of of, of your science. Thank you so I much. I had no idea I'd ever meet you in person. I, I did have a feeling, though. I want to say I had a feeling you survived because your company is so advanced like I wasn't keeping up with it but I kind of had a feeling you survived because right, you guys were right. like uh, you know cutting edge cutting technology, edge technology yeah. cutting edge technology I have brought you a treat I don't know if you're uh, partial oh, or interested but I found I these Thanks. lodged Thanks. under a um Ooh. it doesn't matter where I haven't had one of these since before I worked at the army research facility where I got the alert that the apocalypse had begun. But uh, then I went to Stasis, and I haven't seen a candy in a while. They might be several years I... stale, but um, <laughs> that aside, I mm. think. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh, God, it's so good. You don't know what this means. And then seeing like another living human being. Right. And I feel you're, I feel you're real. Like, I don't feel you're a robot in disguise coming here to... Destroy me with negative thinking. Of course but not. I, uh, I'm glad you're here though, because I, I had two pumpkins ready. And, um, the bingo bango like... don't want to leave the Congo kind of bongo pumpkin situation. <laughs> yeah, basically. Uh, like who would leave the Congo once you're in it and what? You got the bongos going and you're in the groove? But, uh, yeah, I got some tools for you. I feel like you'd be good with your hands. The... Like, I think you're going to be very good at this because you invented that nano, the nano tainers, and you invented the Theranos box. The, I mean, the Edison box. And that, as far as I know, that all that stuff worked perfectly well. I mean, I didn't keep keep up with the news at the, uh, at the end there. Careful, careful with that, that knife there. But yeah, we can start carving these guys. Okay, so if this is, uh... <laughs> if you're carving the lid, if this is going to be a tutorial, I guess we should talk. Um, when you're carving the lid, I, I like a 45 degree angle. Oh. Like because because if you cut it like straight down, then it shrivels up when you get the candle in there and it falls right in. No, you want the 45 degree. I can't get over just seeing a person like that. Just let me <laughs> absorb this for a second. I guess. I'm blowing my mind over here. Yeah. Holy smokes. Okay, I got used to it now. I'm going to take it for granted. Okay, uh, perfect. Let's talk. Oh, so good. I've been, I've been like, um, 
living off bugs for quite some time. Like grub worms. I haven't had any like, vegetables or fruit in months. And I've been saving these. I gotta... Oh. <laughs> Would you recommend I try one? If you had to prove... I mean, I already know you're not a robot in disguise, but... Just seeing you eat will help me. Right, yeah. Yeah, you're obviously not... Like you're digesting, mm -hmm. so I know you're a person. Obviously. Okay, so... Let's get to the hollowing stage here. Oh, okay. We've gotten used to this hollowness in our lives, all of us. But you know, put on a smile. Get that glow within. And, uh... We can learn from the pumpkin in that way. Sorry about this big pile of slop I've left upon your boulder. <laughs> yeah, I came across this perfect boulder. Uh, it's cubic. Near my uh, fuel tanks. Let's just... We should just kind of relax in this sound for a while. It's kind of a beautiful... these up nice I um like I was saying if you find if you wake up and find like a lot of our irradiated particles on your pumpkins if you use the soap and water an abrasive cloth uh, I made soap a couple days ago I came across 16 dead irradiated aardvarks and I cut them open and uh I scraped all that, you know, that, that like spongy yellow fat out of their gut, and I uh, put that over a campfire and I melted it down real nice. I have a question regarding the aardvarks that you found. Yeah. Were they laid in a perfect row? They were laid as in though a funeral had taken place for them, or was it more sporadic? I think they died mating, like in a daisy chain of pleasure. How are you feeling? I'm just. I'm feeling... Is your hollowness feeling good? I suppose you could say that. I feel as though I'm coming to um, a crossroads in this pumpkin carving. Yeah. It's rather abstract, but I think it's going to help a lot of people when they see this shape. Well, and I think it's... I gotta catch up to you. I'm sorry, I'm... Uh, you're, you're like so fast. Almost like... Artificially fast. Would you like to keep this, or should I, uh... uh I'll eat that later, thanks for Sure, much. yeah. And if you have, like, a homemade, uh, dehydrator, like I do, it's just like a tower of bricks stacked up levels. Just throw those seeds on the second level. Keep it at kind of a hot and cold heat. Not a lot of flames. And you can get make yourself some nice... Baked seeds. Is there still blood magic in the apocalypse, or has all magic disappeared from the world? Well, I'll take this one. Have you, yeah, have you come across any of this? I would say blood magic is frequently a part of my thoughts, my life, my actions. was a meltdown like a nuclear nuclear facility and the snakes like we're making the snake ball oh and I guess they rolled down there and like when they came near the uh there's like a not a miniature black hole but a um like a not a rift even but like a a, a looseness uh a weak a weak point in reality and the snakes a snake ball rolled down like the edge because that because there was an explosion and left a crater and the snake ball rolled in, and I was watching, I was like, 
Oh man, all these ants, I hope these snakes are okay. Oh and yeah, yeah, they got to the center and there was like a loose weak point in reality. Sorry? I got some pumpkin on you. Oh, don't, don't worry about that. Oh, right. I've got like bird feces on me, I've got everything. But yeah, so the snakes, the snake ball separated and like they floated away like a oil oil slick I can't really explain it because it's so beyond my understanding sometimes you see something and uh, your mind can't fathom it so it kind of makes like a placeholder and I feel like that's what happened like I don't know if the snakes were even in our plane of existence anymore honestly I don't know. honestly is the snake bowl when they're like snaking it up yeah they were mating with the All right. Uh, yeah, else is fine though. The other animals seem like they're still mutating at a consistent pace. Like nothing too, just nothing too quick, nothing too disturbing. The sizes are consistent, like they're not, they're not crazy huge. It's actually um, a drop. It's a drop of blood in the bucket. A single drop of blood? A single drop of blood in the blood bucket. And you did your test <laughs> a single drop of blood, I heard. Mm -hmm. You did like 200 tests at 200 least. tests? Definitely that many. All at once. Okay, so um, I think mine's hollowed up nice. It sounds pretty consistent. <laughs> sounds good. Mine's good. I did mine right. Um, and then you, if you, when you're cutting the face, you, there's always like a flat, dirty side where it like was lying down and it was like, I guess that's how it grew, like it grew on the ground. So, yeah, uh, I, I mean, um, we all have that flat, dirty side. <laughs> there's a question I've noticed. Uh, have you noticed any side effects of the radiation on yourself? Radiation. Would you say that's a part of your life? Watching your body decay? I feel a little ill most of the time. I feel tired. Like, okay, say, like I'm, I'm working my way through the day. I wake up at like 9. Then around like 12 at night, I start feeling like tired all the time. Like, I start feeling, like, weary, and I gotta lie down for, like, eight hours or, or whatever. That's abnormal. Yeah. You gotta get those numbers down. But when I wake up, I feel fine again, and then the whole cycle begins again. And then I feel like I need fuel, like, three times a day, sometimes. Like, I know that sounds like a lot. And I don't, don't always find that fuel. Yeah, three. Isn't that crazy? Three. That's meals. abnormal. <laughs> okay, so you find that. So you have the dirty, filthy, flat side. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Know, we all polish up as good as we can. We put a smile on. We do. Uh, we do. I think I'm going to carve that <laughs> side. Because I think we should all try to improve the flat, dirty side. I know they tell you... Accept yourself, tutorials. love yourself, love your pumpkin. I'm thinking about this and I think structure is important. You want to start in the center with the nose. Mm. Yours is all nose, so that you know, the rule still applies. <laughs> yes, my pumpkin is more shiny than plague roaches, but to my credit... Well, you know, a guest, I want them to have the best. Yes. That's what I always say. That is very kind of you. Okay, I'm almost done here. Do you need your candle? Uh, I got some over here. I made them out of that. Remember I said I found 16 irradiated aardvark? Right, right, right. Focuses. I would love an illumination device. Do you have one? Yeah. Okay, perfect. I'm... Um... And I made the... Yeah, I used the fat to make these candles. <laughs> I can show you what I'm doing. It's not yeah, a big it's, reveal. If anyone's watching, you should um definitely look up Big fin squid or magnapina. They have tentacles and they're kind of akin to uh, this shape. It's it's really horrible and I love it so. <laughs> I love it so. How do you feel about the magnapina big fin squid? 
I think that would be a delicious thing to dry in my dehydrator. It's one of those things that would shrivel up to like the size of a Kleenex. It's unfortunate they didn't find out much about them before all the scientists died. Aside from me, I mean. Classic uh, pumpkin. Do you have a fire anywhere? Oh, uh, yes, give me a moment. What do you want? It's okay. I've got a reindeer hide. Sure, thanks. <laughs> I'm so sorry, that must have been thunder. Put that in? Yes, please. I actually don't know if this scans on its own. It's not like you're glitching. I am not glitching. There is no way. You don't seem like the, uh... These Jack... Oh, that I, that these I these Jack O' Lanterns are ready to be shipped across America. We have technicians working across the clock to ensure that America's needs are met. I feel like you're like there's something like is that peeling there? The worst thing in the world is to have no one believe in you, and I don't believe in you. I don't know if you're the person you said you were. Can I, can I just like no. check something? No. I want no. To feel like no. No. Like no. 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 You may not. No. You. No. 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 You may not. No. No. You may not. 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 No. No. You. No, you. <laughs> no, I'm gonna you just may. Check something, okay? No, I, I you check. may. No, you may. No, you're just a robot in disguise, trying to ruin my day through negativity. I, I knew it. 